guys, it's Alyssa Ray of Avery Vlogs. I'm so sorry. I tried to upload a video yesterday for you guys, like usual, my normal daily vlog, but the system would not allow me to upload it because the vlog that I recorded yesterday was 20 plus minutes long. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I went to sleep again because there's a system error for um, uploading the vlog yesterday. So then I tried um, uploading it overnight. So I went to sleep really really late trying to upload this vlog um, and I ended up falling asleep while it was still loading um, and it didn't load or it didn't upload so I do apologize there's no vlog yesterday guys so I've deleted the vlog from yesterday to make room because what I do is every day I um, right when it saves and I start to upload it it usually uploads so I um, delete the video off of my phone so I have storage enough storage to record the next day's vlog which right now so i'm so sorry guys that um i couldn't upload that video or it wasn't uploaded so i do apologize for that um but yeah so again you guys are joining me again i'm on my way to work once again in the car yesterday's vlog i was out and about um i might have to go to the store again today i'm not sure um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your week thus far. In my vlog yesterday, I had made it a point to let you guys know that peer pressure is the one bullying mechanism that you tool that bullies have. And I, you know, I was younger um, when I was little, um, high school, middle school, and high school had, were my peer pressure points of society, whereas elementary school was not so much. But I hear that elementary schools are starting to get a little bit more peer pressure now than they used to before so um, to me a bully's reasoning for bullying you which is what I said in yesterday's vlog which did not upload is that they are jealous they are jealous of you that's what I believe I believe bullies are jealous of you and is the reason why they, they target you as a person so I say don't take it to heart and don't feel like you are the worst person in the world. I feel like every person is unique in their own way. So it shouldn't matter what everybody else thinks about you. It should The only opinion that matters is your own opinion. It shouldn't matter what others say about you or um, what they think about you. It's, it's just what you think about yourself. Um, anyways guys, I'm going to cut it a little bit short because I'm I'm um, getting, I'm driving right now, so I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Oh, Norma, I got a question for you. What are you eating? I ate it. All the salad. Oh, but what's that? I ate that. That's bad. Oh, God, look at her. It's bad. She's telling me it's bad. But then I'm eating chips. That's bad, too. That's bad, too. Amanda, you're eating healthier than me. What is that? That's healthier. Oh god. <laughs> Do you want to try the one I have? Yeah, do you have one like this? No, it's not like that. Oh, you're trying to... It's it's not this. It's okay, more of a um, Oreo. Okay. I'll show you to you when we get back in the station. She sees a girl with a friend coming out of the bedroom. Like this one tastes good. Yeah, you can. You can also use the chocolate. This light is giving me a headache. Stop it. Hey guys, it's Alyssa Ray again of Avery Vlogs. It is after the work day. It has been super, super busy. Um, and also, I need to get my medicine. But you keep forgetting to pick up. I'm so bad at picking this up. So I'm about to head to that store now to go pick it up. And that's about it, you know. I haven't done anything today except for, you know, you guys saw talking to my coworkers during lunch. Um, we were in the break room and I was lecturing one of my coworkers who said she was on a diet and she was eating junk food. Not good, but it is National Junk Food Day. So uh, kind of, I guess you can say is okay. I don't know. So I hope you guys are having a great day today. It is super, super hot right now. Again, super, super hot. It is currently 100 and, let's climb down. It's 
just my car. Earlier when I checked the temperature when I got in the car, it was 105. We're at 102 degrees, so I'm guessing the temperature's slowly cooling down in the car because it's super hot today. Uh, but it's going to be hot all week, so that's not pretty good. So if you guys remember from my vlog, um, along from be previously where I, you know, I have these rings, okay? I have three rings, one right here, one right, two right here, okay? If you remember, the ring originally, it has the same thing as this one. This is my new one on my middle finger, my third finger of my left hand. It has the saying Veritas in the Strat, which means truth and light in. And if you remember, I had a thinner band compared to this one that was a real silver. So of course I got a new one that was real silver. And what happened was is I gave it to my coworker to have boyfriend make me a new one. So um, I got my old band back and I took it and I'm very I'm a very creative person you know I do creative things so what I did was is I took my old band and made it into a necklace so as you can see I have this leather strap here around my neck and this is the necklace I made it out of I think it's quite ingenious how I did this really I think I did a very 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 good job and I don't know where this guy's going because I need to turn. So I don't know if he's turning or what. I mean, because he has an SUV with him. So, or a thing. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's pulling over or if he's turning. But we'll soon find out in a bit here if I just made the gravest decision because he has his hazard lights on. See? See, this guy has his hazard lights on. I think it's because he's going downhill because we just came from an incline. But what's throwing me off is if he is going to be turning or if he's just pulled over I'm not sure because technically you're over there and you're pulled over so it kind of throws me off so I'm gonna wait but yeah I made a necklace out of my old ring no oh, I finally slowed down that was weird um, oh no he's turning yay okay although I really like an RV I would, oh that's why he's using the I don't know why he does that there's people behind you need to turn you're gonna I don't know anymore anyway so I made a necklace out of my ring um, I have it here. I'm going to show you, like I said, leather strap. It's knotted in the back. Um, I can't show you really. I'll show you later. Um, it's knotted. Um, and then right here was, I took, um, I make jewelry sometimes. And I've been inclined to make jewelry for a while now. And uh, I'll show you right here at this red light because I really don't want to take my hands off the wheels. Um, hold on one second, guys. But yeah, I make jewelry and I'm also in developing a jewelry line for kids, um, like farm bracelets and stuff and leather, like necklaces and stuff for kit for boys, really. I think boys more are into the leathers, so that would be pretty cool. But here is the ring, as you remember the ring. I did two different clasps and it's on a clasp. So that's the ring. He actually filed it down and it still says this thing, it's right there. But that's the old ring, it's now a necklace. So that's my new necklace. And I just tucked it away inside my shirt because the reason why I made it super long too is because my shirt for work, my um, because I wear scrubs as a v-neck, so I don't want people to see the necklace very visibly. Like like right here you can kind of see it, but not really. Um, so what I do is I tuck the knotted end of the necklace inside in the back of my shirt, and then I put it around my neck too. So I made it into a necklace um, and I thought that was like the best choice ever because I want to keep it close to me because I actually purchased this ring. I don't know if you know this designer. Um, the designer's name is Mark Jacobs. He had, I had went to Vegas a long time ago and my godmother who is from San Francisco went with us. We actually stayed in a hotel room, t um, not together, I would say close to, like you're connected by a door and um, we went to Mark Jacobs and we went together and bought these rings. Um, she got a different stain than I did and um, in a different size. And I got this stain because the other stains were like, I didn't like them. I liked this thing because it meant truth and lightens, which I fully believe in. So I got that saying. Um, and so I want I do, I don't want to throw it away. I know it's not real silver, but it does really mean a lot to me because it's my first trip that I took with my aunt because um, we, we've never taken trips before together the trips that we've taken were to go visit her up north and her to visit here us down here so we've never gone together like an actual trip somewhere else together as a family so i want to keep that close to me because that really does mean something to me 
but yeah, so I eat, that's the reason why I made it into a necklace, regardless of it um, being not real silver. I love it because it has so many memories of us having fun together, her trying to get me drunk. i serious. She is my aunt. She's like older than my uh, my fob, my dad, and she <laughs> was trying to get me drunk the whole time we were in Vegas because she was like constantly saying, come on, let's go, you could have a drink, blah, blah, blah. And it's, you know what's funny is that I'm a, uh, ever since I turned 21 and I'm a little, I mean, I'm older now, I've never been the one that was like a partier that would want to go out and get drunk, go party, pub hopping or club, I never did that. My encounters of getting a drink were always with my family. And if I did, I would, um, I, w I actually limited myself. Like, I needed to make sure two was the limit. If I did have a third one, I needed to be hydrated. So very rarely I have a third or fourth drink when I'm out socially, but I made sure that I was always well hydrated so that way I wouldn't get drunk. Um, there is w twice I've gone out with my coworker, no, four, four times. I don't think it really counts the first two because the first two we went to a happy hour at Chili's right after work where we had some drinks, which I don't think really counts because I was only there for like a couple hours and then we, I had to leave because uh, I was dead tired. And then the other times I went and met up with my coworker again. It was a happy hour for somebody's birthday. We all um, went home. We got dressed, and then we met up at this place, um, and uh, you know we drank together. But again, I I left home early again because it's a Friday. I know I met up with you guys, but I'm really really tired. So I went home early, but then I met up with my other my coworkers I work with in my department for one of their husband's birthdays. And I, I did kind of get tipsy there. Um, um, note to self, cocktails, guys. Cocktails, they are full of alcohol. They're very strong. Be careful. Um, I had um, gotten some, I don't know if you guys know what this drink is called, Maduri Sour. I love that drink. You can't really tell there's alcohol in it by how it's made. But um, I got that. I got like three of them and I started feeling tipsy because, um, it, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, correct me or, if you guys have an opinion about it too but the place that we went to it's like a small area it's like kind of like a chilled atmosphere they do have a dj but it's a really small dance floor um but you're there just to mostly just play pool um play some dartboard and just have fun at the bar which i like that it was a very laid back atmosphere but i got there because it is a bar bar should have food i think at least even if it's an appetizer the bar that we went to, when we got there, I went to go order even just like nachos because I saw some people eating some nachos or some, some some fries or something and they were already eating it and they their their kitchen was closed and I was like, why would you have a closed kitchen when there's a lot of people here to drink? So uh, that didn't make sense to me. Why would you have a kitchen closed super, super early and you have people that come and go to your guys' bar to drink knowing that if you have food that's the way they're going to get um sober <laughs> besides drinking water so yeah i was like kind of confused so that's the reason why because i thought we were going to eat there too so i really didn't eat at all that much before i left to go meet with them so i really didn't eat anything so of course if you don't eat anything you have an empty stomach you do get drunk quicker so i got tipsy after the third drink you know, I let it, I drank, so I drank water and drink water, and then finally I wasn't as dizzy, I guess you can say, so I said, okay, I can have a fourth drink. Fourth drink, um, maybe tipsy again. <laughs> so, yeah, but then again, you know, I was on an empty stomach, you know, that was bad. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how I diverted from my necklace to, I don't know anymore, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope and pray you guys are having an awesome, awesome Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday, it is the start of the weekend. I do apologize again that that vlog did not go up yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you guys again tomorrow with another vlog for Friday. Enjoy. You know, you guys are amazing. Again, you guys are awesome. So I will see you guys tomorrow.